Hello, everyone. It's Mr. Kissinger at the Citizenship Academy in Syracuse, New York. And today we are doing fifth grade math module three, lesson nine. We're going to add fractions, making like units numerically. So we're going to move away from the uh, visual uh, model and we're going to start to use more of a standard algorithm to find common denominators. So on these, uh, in this problem set here, we're going to first make like units and then we're going to add. So we're going to be doing exactly what we were doing before with our um, graphic uh, model here, our visual model. But we're going to start to move, like I said, more toward a standard algorithm um, where we're going to try to do that numerically. Um, so we have three fourths plus one seventh. And so we need to find like denominators. The way that I'm going to do that is... I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of make a number tree of both uh, counting, I'm gonna count by fours and I'm gonna count by sevens. So I'm gonna start by going four, eight, 12, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 24, 28. I'll stop there for now. Um, and then I'm going to do my, I'm going to skip count by sevens. So I'll do seven, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42. And I want to find the lowest number that both of them have in common. And what I'm seeing here is a 28 and a 28. So seven times four is twenty-eight. If I just multiply my denominators, I could have uh, I could have found that that way. Um, but now I know that that is also my lowest denominator that um, those two could share. So three fourths. If I want to make my denominator into twenty-eight, I need to multiply both by seven. get is 21 28th and then to make 1 7th to make my denominator 28 I would need to multiply by 4 so times 4 times 4 and I'm going to end up with 4 28th so now I know that, I, that I'm going to add 21 28 plus 4 28 and I'll end up with 25 28 All right, so let's move on to letter B. I have 1 fourth and nine plus nine eighths just looking at this nine eighths i know that my my uh sum should be more than one it should be greater than one because nine eighths is already greater than one eight eighths would be one nine eighths would be one and one eighth so this is uh expressed as an improper fraction rather than a mixed number that's okay we're okay with this as far as um adding this will make life a little bit easier for us um i need to find a common denominator so I'm going to do a number three with four, fours. I have four, eight. Oh, well, I know eight's going to be my lowest multiple of eight. Because when I start my number tree of eight, my first number is going to be eight. I'm not going to get any lower than that. So I can leave my eight alone. If I had continued here, I would have got 16. Oh, 12, 16. 16 here and 12 here. And I went to 24. So I know 8 is going to be my lowest common denominator. To make 1 fourth into 8, I have to cut them in half or I have to multiply by 2 on both my numerator and my denominator. What I'm going to end up with is. Four. 
eight. And then nine eighths, I can just leave that alone because I'm, I'm adding, I already have eight, so I have two eighths plus nine eighths. Eleven eighths. I'm not done yet because I don't want to. I don't want to express my answer as an improper fraction. I'd like to turn that into a mixed number, and I can kind of look at that this way. I can say, well, eleven eighths is really eight eighths plus three eighths, and eight eighths is one. So my answer is one and three eighths. This here would be one. All right, let's move on to letter C. We have three eighths plus three sevenths. Now I'll show you guys another way you, you can do this. Um, if you don't, if you if you're like, hey, you know what? I don't want to make a number tree for this one. I can just multiply these two together, and I know I'll find a common denominator. It may not be my lowest, but it's always a safe bet, and we can always um, simplify the fraction afterward. So this time I'm just going to do seven or eight times seven, which is fifty-six. Three eighths. Well, I'm multiply by seven and multiply by seven plus. Let's solve that first. Let's see, so we can keep it kind of organized here. 21, 56, 21, 56, 21, 56, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 3 times 8 is 24, 56, so now I have 2156 plus 2456, which is going to give me 4556. And I know I can't... I know that I couldn't have found a lower common denominator, most likely, because this is not going to simplify here. That's going to be our final answer is 4556. I added 21 plus 24 and got 45, and then I kept my denominator as 56. All right, let's do one more on this page. And we'll try a word problem after. So I have 4 ninths plus 4 sevenths. So if I want to find a common denominator between 9 and 7, let's just multiply 9 and 7. We'll get 63. So 4 ninths. To get to 63 from 9, I need to multiply by 7. So I need to multiply my numerator by 7 as well. And I'll end up with 28. Thirds plus uh, four sevenths. We need to multiply by nine. Multiply by nine, and I ha I'm going to end up with thirty-six thirds. So if I do 28 plus 36, I'm going to get 64 and then on my, on my numerator, I'm going to get 63, so I have 64 60 thirds, don't love the way that looks, I'm going to have to make that into a mixed number. Well, I can do 60, 63 60 thirds. Plus 
plus 1 63rd. And I'll end up with 1 and 1 63rd. All right, so let's move on to our next page here. And we're going to try a... This one says, Whitney says that to add fractions with different denominators, you always have to multiply the denominators to find the common unit. For example, one plus four or one fourth plus one sixth equals six twenty fourths plus four twenty fourths. Show how Whitney could have chosen a denominator smaller than twenty four to solve the problem. So this is what we were talking about with making a, uh, a number tree or uh, skip counting. We can do, if our denominators are 4 and 6, so we have 1 fourth plus 1 sixth. Well, I can skip count by 4s. I can go 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, and then I'm going to skip count by 6s here next to it. 6, 12, uh 18, 24, 30. I mean, I'm going to go one more on my four so I can get to 24 because that's the number that she chose was 24. So I have 24. Is there, are there any numbers that are smaller than 24 that you see in the, uh, that are in both factories? We could have chosen 12. That'll make it easier. So that way we don't have to simplify it so much at the end. Um, I can have <coughs> one fourth to get to get my denominator to twelve. I need to multiply by one, two, three. So I have one fourth times three times three. So I end up with three twelfths. And then six, I have to multiply by two. So I have one sixth. Times two times two, and that will give me two twelfths. Then I'm going to add them together, and I'll end up with three plus two is five twelfths. So rather than going to 20 fourths and get and ending up with 10 20 fourths as an answer up here, we can end up with 5 twelfths, which is the simplified version of 10 20 fourths. So that's all the time we have for today. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and we'll look forward to seeing you next time.